Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is a little different because I haven't been here and so I thought I'd bring you on my trip to Oxford which I made with my coven. Sadly I can't show you what the coven looked like because everybody else is a little camera shy and don't want to be seen by my subscribers so sorry about that. However I can take you along for the rest of it. And so this is what happened when we went to that amazing and beautiful city of Oxford. I had to drive, which was embarrassing because I'm not very good at driving, but we arrived in one piece. We stayed in this beautiful 16th century coach and horses pub. Recommended. I loved it. This was my bedroom, which I thought was rather glamorous for a, just a pub bedroom. And as it's very late, I went straight to bed. So welcome to my hotel room. It's rather glorious here. I'm in Oxfordshire. I'm about to go into the town because there's a couple of things that I want to do there. But first I need to protect my room and I always do this with a few crystals well placed around the outside edges. I'm using quartz and hematite because these I find work well with my energy and also provide great protection. I put Adventurine on my desk to help me with the work that I have to do whilst I'm here because I get easily distracted. And it worked as I got loads done. I was really pleased. After work I went down and had some breakfast and this was it. It was delicious! So thank you very much to the chef. Feeling quite full we set off at driving through the very pretty country villages on our way into the beautiful city of Oxford. Should you get the opportunity to visit Oxford, do go. It is marvellous. I mean, I haven't been there for 20 or 30 years and it is just as stunning as I remembered it. Sadly, all the colleges were shut, so we just had to stand in their doorways and look at them from the outside. But it was still worth it. I did have to show you this beautiful shop, which I want my kitchen to look like. It never will, obviously. However, this cauldron really caught my attention and I want it. Hmm, maybe next month. My cover member did buy a beautiful set of glasses and I'm quite jealous. To make up for it, we went and had a drink at a pub on the river. And then joined up with the rest of our coven. But as I said, that is not for your eyes. However, we did do a bit of ghost busting at St Catherine's Chapel in Chiselhampton, so I shall show you this. I love a chapel and a graveyard. They are such fun to look around. The chapel has a wonderful old yew tree next to it. Yew trees were part of our pagan ancestry and were there to protect and help the dead move on. They were sort of bottom up rather than top down. Meaning that when they built the church, the people went, oh, we better put a yew tree in because, you know, we've always had yew trees. As opposed to the Christian faith trying to incorporate this into their religion. We did move on a couple of spirits whilst here, so that's one of the reasons why I love going to a graveyard to help those in need. So having caught up with my coven and completed what we came here for, it's time to go. Don't forget the crystals, they are always forgotten. I tend to leave them wherever I go, but this time I've remembered. These beautiful roses were given to me, so I'm going to take them with me. And with that, it's goodbye to the coach and horses, and thank you for a lovely stay. If you're missing the Ginny Metherill witchiness, you can always go and have a look at my brand new blog, the only ultimate witchcraft blog, ginnymetherill.co.uk. Check it out. Don't forget, my coven meeting is coming up and we will be doing a circle of healing and I'll show everyone how to use a circle of healing to help everybody's complaints. Go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill for further details on that. And in the meantime, I would love to hear your comments on my trip to Oxford. I'm sorry I didn't get very much in there, but I was a bit busy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well because it really helps my channel and enables me to keep making these videos for you and allows me to take a couple of days off every now and then and go to Oxford. I loved Oxford and I will see you in a couple of days. <laughs>